So let's define these terms. An allele is an alternate form of a gene, such as dominant or recessive. The dominant allele means is an allele which only needs to be present in one copy. So you need, only need one of them to show up as a phenotype. And if you don't remember, the phenotype is how the organism appears. Oh, type. All right, but a recessive allele is the allele that needs to be the only allele pres present to show up as the phenotype. Okay, cool. So now let's apply that knowledge. So big T means you can curl your tongue. If you're not familiar with that, curling your tongue is like this. I can do it. If you can't do it, it's fun. Find a friend who can't do it. Do it. They just stick their tongue. They don't have the musculature to make it happen. It's really interesting. Um, so anyway, make fun of your friends. See if they can roll their roll their tongues, um, curl their tongues. Rolling. I actually can't roll my tongue, so that's fun. All right. If both parents are homozygous dominant, dominant, you need to know that homozygous dominant means big T, big T. So the allele key is going to be the same for the, all of these problems because we're using the same trait. Big T equals someone who can roll their tongue. And little t means that you can't roll your tongue. All right, so you're, I gave you the genotypes of your parents, big T, big T. And that means that they can, this one can roll. And big T, big T, it also means that this one can roll. Hi, I'm making videos, so let's be quiet. All right, we're gonna take these genotypes and we're gonna put them up here. So we have a big T and we have another big T. Please ignore the periods, they're just autofilling. And this parent can also only make big T, T alleles. This is going to be like the least exciting Punnett square ever. So you fill in all the boxes. Remember this T comes down here and this T comes down here. So we have big T, big T. And then we have this one, big T, big T. This one, lo and behold, big T, big T. This one, big T, big T. So all of our parents are the same. So we're always going to take the offspring from here and fill in the genotypes. We only have one. Hopefully we understand that that means that they can roll their tongues. And the probability of having that is 100%. So, first one done. Let's move on. Okay, so now we say both parents are homozygous recessive. So, reminder that homozygous recessive is going to be little, little t, little t. So, this is going to look a lot like our last one, and I'm lazy, so I'm going to copy and paste this. All right, and so my parent key is gonna be different. I give you the genotype, so t, little t, little t. And the phenotype for that is that they can't roll their tongue. So two people with awkward tongues, little t, little t. 
another individual who can't roll their tongue. And so now you're going to take these alleles and you're going to put them in the boxes up here. So you spread them out. Remember that this simulates meiosis that we talked about, the making of gametes, where the law of uh, segregation means that the um, alleles separate. One individual separates them out in gametes. So now you have all these individual little T's. Hair in my face. Um, and so you fill in the box. So they you just bring the T's, these top T's down into these boxes and these ones across. And so each box gets little T's. Homozygous recessive parents can only have homozygous recessive babies. So you figure out all the different types of genotypes that you have in the offspring and they go in the genotype category column here. Little T, little T. It equals, I can't roll their tongue. Again, find someone who can't roll their tongue and ask them to do it for you. It is hilarious. And it's 100%. 100% of the offspring can't roll their tongue. All right, excellent. Both parents are heterozygous. So reminding you that heterozygous means big T, little t. Copy my allele key again, because I'm lazy or efficient, you decide. And now both the parents are big T, little t. And so anytime you have a dominant allele, that's what dominant means, you end up with the dominant phenotype, which in this case is you, that you can roll your tongue. That's why hopefully when I did it, most of you tried yourself and you're like, I can do that. Um, if not, and you want to share in class, we would happily watch you try to roll your tongue. So both these parents can roll their tongue. Let's see what's going to happen to their offspring. So now that we have different letters, we have to be a little bit more careful. So we're going to separate the alleles out in the boxes. The big T here, again, let's ignore the periods and the little t in this box, and a big T in this box, and a little t in this box. And now you're going to drag those T's down so this box gets a big T from the box above it, and a big T from the top box, and this one. Gets a, and so here's a, here's a convention. Um, if you have, if it's heterozygous and this box is going to be heterozygous because you get a little T from here and a big T from here, the capital letter comes first. It's not wrong. I mean, it is wrong because nobody does it that way, but theoretically it doesn't matter, but you should put the capital one first. This one, however, you have a little T from here and a little T from here, so you have homozygous recessive, and let's go back and fill these in because we can do that. So this one is little t, big T, big T, and this one is a dominant and a recessive. So now we're going to do what we always do. We're going to take the, the offspring from the inside and put it fill in their genotypes. So we have a big T, big T, two big T, little t's, and one little t, little t. And so we're going to go back and figure out the phenotypes based on that. Big T, big T can roll their tongue because they have the dominant genotype and one dominant allele and that's all that meat matters. Big T, little t, the heterozygote can also roll their tongue because they have the dominant genotype and a dominant allele, but there's no dominant allele here, so these guys can't roll their tongue. And now you figure out the probability. So you can just do this probably because you have enough math sense for that, but you can say, you can do it by probabilities, so you can say that there's a one in four, there's one homozygous dominant, two heterozygous, and one homozygous recessive. Alternately, and we'll do it in a different color so it's 
screen. Um, you could also say that you have 25% homozygous dominant, 50% homozygous re recessive, and 25%, I'm sorry, heterozygous, and 25% homozygous recessive. Both are correct. Excellent. All right, so now let's do this again. You have one, next example, you have one homozygous dominant parent, big T, big T, and one heterozygous parent, which is big T, little t. So our allele key is the same as always. Clearly, if I gave you other alleles, you would have a different allele key, but we have the same one because we're just using the same alleles for the whole example. Um, so our genotype is, for our first parent, is big T, big T. And again, it doesn't matter which parent's which. It doesn't it matter which one's the mother and which one's the father in cases like this. So we're just going to do what suits our fancy. So big T, big T, the phenotype on that is going to be that they can roll their tongue because they have a dominant allele. This one can also roll their tongue because they have a dominant allele. And so now you're going to put your genotypes and you're going to split them up into alleles in the top outside part of the Punnett square. So I'm going to put my homozygous dominant parent up here. Big T, big T. And then I'm going to put my heterozygous parent here. Big T, little t. And then I'm going to fill in the boxes. So this one comes from the left and the top, so it's big T, big T. This one comes from the left and the top, and it's big T, big T. This one is from the left and the bottom, big T, little t. This one is from the right and the bottom, big T, little t. All right. So. Our genotypes, you have two different genotypes. Big T, big T, and big T, little t. What is the phenotype for that? The phenotype is that they can roll their tongue. What is the phenotype for this one? They can also roll their tongue. What is the probability that you have each of these kinds? And you know what? I just realized I forgot something on the other one. So we're going to do that in a second. They are, it is 50% or one to one, or two to two, to two you'd reduce it to one to one, of each type, because you have two of one and two of the other. OK, so we should go back to this. Let's go back to the beginning. Here, because they were 100%, the genotypic and the phenotypic ratio are the same. Let's write this down. Are both 100%. So that means that the use everything is the same. It's all 100% of the same thing. And that is true for this one too. They are 100% recessive, both in genotype and phenotype. However, that is not true for this one. You have a one to two to one genotypic ratio, which is big T, big T, to big T, little t, to, oh, I should have named that back, colon, to little t, little t, but you actually have a three to one phenotypic ratio because you have three black no, sorry, which I was just thinking about those mice. Three kids who can roll their tongue to one that can't roll their tongue. Can't roll. See how that is? So you those are different and you need to differentiate here. So here, 
you have a one-to-one -one ratio that is a genotypic ratio. Big T, big T to big T, little t. But you have 100% of the offspring can roll their tongue. Curl. I should be saying curl. Sorry, but we're going to stick with roll because we've already gotten this far. Um, and they, and so it, that is your phenotypic ratio. All right. One parent is homozygous recessive, little t, little t. And the other is heterozygous, big T, little t. So our allele key stays the same. Nope. So our parents are big T, little t, and little t, little t. Big T, big T, the phenotype for that is that they can roll their tongue. And little t, little t is that they can't roll their tongue. So let's take our parents, as always, and put their alleles into the boxes. And then this one is a little t little t. And so now you fill in the boxes, as always. I hope you're getting the hang of it. So this one is big t, little t. This one is little t, little t. This one is big t, little t. This one is little t, little t. All right. So you take your genotypes and you put them in the box. So this one is you have one, we have some big T little T's and you have some little T little T's. The big T, big T's are their phenotype is going to be that they can roll their tongue. The little T little T is that they can't roll their tongue. And here we have half and half. So you have 50% can roll. 50% can't roll. So now we need to come up with our genotypic and our phenotypic ratio. It's actually the same. So it's one to one genotypic and phenotypic. So it's big T, big T or big T little t to little t little t and roll to no can't roll. Here we'll use the colon because that's consistent. Alright, last one friends. Homozygous dominant. Big T big T good at all. Homozygous recessive. Little t, little t. Allele key. Same as always. Our gen parent genotypes. Big T, big T. Little t, little t. Parent phenotypes. This one can roll their tongue, curl their tongue. This one can't. So you're going to take these genotypes, you're going to split them up into separate alleles, outside boxes. This one's a capital T, dominant allele. This is a lowercase t, recessive allele. Nope, never mind, that was wrong. Hopefully you caught that, big T. This one is a lowercase t, lowercase t, 
And now, big T, little t, big T, little t, big T, little t, and big T, little t. So our genotypes are all heterozygous, big T, little t. Phenotypically, they can all roll their tongues. There's 100% of them. And so we're going to write both phenotypic and genotypic ratios are 100% heterozygous, big T, little t, big T, little t, and 100% dominant, roll their tongue. All right, if you have questions about this, make sure you ask in class or you send me an email and I am happy to answer any and all questions. Bye, y'all.